Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Truth Council 23 with me, Truth Nunez, and our spiritual council. We're so thankful to be here with all of you uh, to share today's collective energetic read. Keep in mind, we are reading collective energies. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You are and forever will be the masters of your experiences, of what you will or what you will not into this creation. We're going to go ahead and get started right away by honoring and thanking our spiritual council. I want to thank my grandmama, mi abuelita. Gladys Nunez Maldonado. I also want to honor and thank mi abuelito Felix Antonio Nunez. I invite you to do the same as I do honor and thank your trusted ancestors, those that protect and love and guide you. I invite you to honor whatever religious force, whatever spiritual force, whatever makes you feel good, grounded, and connected to the all as you are in this experience. You can also take a moment of silence to be in silence with yourselves. That's also more than enough. Let's get started. Second day in a row, my lovies, linger for you. Linger played right before we started. You've got me wrapped around your finger. Do you have to let it linger? Do you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to let it linger? We're going to work through this then, my lovies. Hopefully it doesn't overheat the phone because iPhones are sensitive. 125 on the clock. 1258 energy as we are reading for the 8th. Oop. And there goes the horn. Cheers, darlings. For some, um, a cleansing ritual is in your field. For some, maybe um, getting yourself some sage, buying some sage for smudging and um, cleansing your field before getting into bed, taking a shower before getting into bed, saging your space before getting into bed, before going to sleep. If the sage smell is a little too overwhelming, maybe um, saging first, a good cleansing of your space, and then saging, and then showering, and then going to bed so that you can clear your mind for some. It'll help with stress. It'll help alleviate the any symptoms of depression or being pressed down by energies, weighed down by energies that may be... Um, conflicting or contradicting to what you truly desire in your heart not in your mind there's a difference for some Afterwards, I like to fill the space with um, Palo Santo or some type of incense. We're actually running low on Palo Santo. Um, but some type of incense or Palo Santo lifts the spirits. I like Palo Santo, but I also do use, I do work with incense as well after um, staging. Your favorite scents. I was gifted this lavender incense from a metaphysical store that I like in, in Los Angeles. And there's a hummingbird.
What is up? What is up? What is up? Hot stuff. How's it flowing? How's it going? What's popping? What's cracking? Uh, we are reading for uh, Gregorian, August 8th, 2023, uh, or the energy surrounding that date. So um, uh, these events could have recently happened or will be happening soon. Um, eight energy. Um, it's uh, soulmate energy, soulmate energy. Eight energy is a procedural energy. Eight energy can bring in legal procedures, medical procedures. Eight energy can bring in um, big boo-boos and little boo-boos. It is encouraged and advised. 817 on the clock, which is 8-8 eight, eight energy. The number 8-8 eight, eight could be significant for some. The, the year 1988 could be significant for some. Um, there could be an 88-year-old around you for some or an 88 year old who's important or someone in their 80s <clears throat> who you maybe haven't spoken to or there's some through uh some through something about throughput and the name anna came in as well for some um but um and the name jose as well um and the name joshua uh and the name oh jesus oh, here we go with this name <laughs> Uh, for some praying for um, wishing the best for those who um, you feel may um, transgress uh, against you um, releasing in love it's important uh, to uh, not be in your own devil energy um, spirit was giving that to us for some <clears throat> you could be challenged to speak your truth in a situation you could be challenged to um, to act in truth and righteousness uh, when it comes to a situation um, despite feeling um, uh, I'm getting I'm getting a few different interesting things but we're gonna work through it despite maybe feeling for some a bit um, overwhelmed with an energy um, maybe for some someone's overstepping their boundaries in a situation maybe for some someone doesn't uh, see that um, and um, it's okay to to put up energetic boundaries meaning to uh give it to spirit um to say spirit you know um i give this to you um this is not my problem to handle um i give this to you um and uh from there just allowing something whatever spirit believes is fair um and not believe spirit is the ultimate truth so um whatever happens from there you have let go um it's important um for some because uh, procedural energy can bring in all types of little accidents big accidents um legal procedures medical procedures and with that energy you want to be just because a lot of justice was present the energy of Ma'at was present. Uh, the energy of the divine courts was present. Uh, so for some, there could be a divine judgment um, that will take place in the spiritual realm first, as everything does, and then it will coagulate. Uh, so for some, giving it to spirit, right? spirit will will hear your case spirit is always listening i mean there's there we can't hide from spirit so for some um there could be a case brought up against someone or against you and spirit is going to advise um that uh you be in your truth um that you speak your truth whatever that is to you uh that you speak your truth uh that you do not embellish that you do not exaggerate um because it is fated something is fated to happen i caught it at 11 11 and then at 11 15 and 11 16 so for some this is a divinely guided situation um and there are divine courts meaning even sometimes we don't see it because we're so caught in the mundane uh the repercussions of our actions for some there could be a, a case brought up against somebody um spiritually it's already in your field um this could be all types of case I, I am getting harassment um this could be all types of cases but someone is it's like it's like spirit is inviting um it could be a man it could be a group of men it could be a group of men and women it could uh, jack of spades energy i'm seeing it could be a group of people um spirit is inviting um not not to transgress to to check your demons i think it's important um this could be you or someone around you take it how it resonates we're reading the energies uh for some of you this could have to do with a legal marriage or a binding a marriage because i keep holding my ring finger for some of you you could be very nervous about a, a marriage or you a, some type of procedure some time and some tim and some tom uh and then i'm getting uh, here we go with the uh i'm seeing uh, applesauce i'm seeing applesauce uh but um 
some can be very nervous about an engagement of some sort or take it how it resonates because I'm seeing the ace of spades with the nine of spades or or the termination of something or the ending of something or of, of a chapter to go into a big chapter um, and there could be a lot of of, of, uh, of anxiety uh, attached to this because the energies feel very nervous I don't play with my <coughs> Ooh. Someone needs to speak their truth. Um, I did a preliminary reading for some. And for some, there's a woman who has lost her marbles. Um, there's a few people, but um, it came up as a woman. Who um, is crowned in fear and is in some type of addiction. This woman could be taking uh, overdosing. I was getting a man who abuses prescription drugs and also alcohol. And then I was getting another woman who uh, is in fear. Fear was crowning her head. Um, but uh, she can't get out of bed sometimes. Uh, this woman um, is in some type of an addiction. And she's, uh, she's abusing a substance. She came up in abusing a substance and she needs treatment. She could also be physically sick. For some of you, you could be... Uh, here we have a king of hearts and a nine of hearts. For some of you, you have joy when it comes to a, a, a well-meaning man. Uh, a king of hearts can also represent a father figure. That father energy has also been very present. For some of you, ancestral protection. For some of you, your father can protect you even if you don't really have conversations with your father in the 3d uh he sends you protective energy for some of you you have a very uh, high ranking spiritually speaking father someone could be uh someone can have a very powerful father who loves you and is and uh even if you don't necessarily talk in the 3d um there are levels to this you're always connected that feels sweet, my lovies. King of Spades energy, uh, the legal, the medical. Again, for some, there's someone going through some type of addiction or someone is going to be very, very ill. Someone can be getting medical treatment for an STD or an STI, a sexually transmitted disease or sexually transmitted intelligence that led to disease because it's information. It's energy. You have success for some success uh, when it comes to a queen of diamonds, a woman who does not have your best interest in mind. For some of you, this energy is very, very present. It was very present in the preliminary. For some, someone has lost their marbles. Um, if you need to protect yourself, my lovies, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like engage. Um, I would get the officials involved first. I don't, it's for me, why would you waste your time? This is a hidden enemy though for some. This is a hidden enemy, but you have success over this. Queen of Diamonds energy is a woman who does not have your best interest in mind. This person could be, the word conniving is coming in. So this person could do anything for money. Um, bribery is coming in. I'm getting extortion. This person could be into uh, illegal uh, money laundering I'm getting or something or some issue with money. Oh, Bombay Kut, my lovies. Wow. Wowzers, kabowzers, powzers, kabowzers. I am seeing Ace of Spades. There's some type of signature or a contract or some type of a, of a binding agreement. Bombay Kut. Here we have Jack of Clubs, a gentleman who likes to look good dress well in a work situation for some of you um this could be um, normally the jack of clubs represents a man but we are reading collective energy so this could be a man or a woman um but i'm getting strong masculine energy someone that may be slightly younger slightly older no more than 12 years um single widowed or divorced this person could be single widowed or divorced ready to mingle in a work situation for some of you this person may be interested in you in a work situation nine of clubs energy is somewhere where you do labor for some of you this person can do very well financially for some of you you'll be talking to somebody about a significant amount of money 1633 was on the clock 1633 was on the clock this could have to do with a house situation this could have to do with a construction this could have to do because i'm getting that four energy through that for some of you this could be an ally in a situation or you could be or you could have some type of an alliance in a work situation uh because that's you're you're together you're in that space or this is somebody that you see uh someone that you're getting to know or someone that's a uh, uh it doesn't necessarily feel like a friend it feels like someone that's there in your space and it's like because we're here together, we engage. Um, if had if you weren't in that space together, um, who knows if you would engage or not? I am getting two men. For some of you, this could be like you know, in a work situation, you're chatting it up a lot with with a, a, a person. Um, this person could be a little immature. Um, here we go with Gerson and uh, Matthew and Thomas, Angie. 
or Angela. Like, this is someone that you should do, you kind of like talk to, but I, I wouldn't consider this person a friend, but this is a work situation for some. For some, you could be getting news about a significant amount, amount of money or some type of uh, in, indemnization. Uh, yeah, there's the money, 10 of clubs, honey, a lot of money, a significant amount of money, and you have success over your eight of spades. For some of you, you could be very worried about money, but you have um, you have success when it comes to money. For some of you, you could be getting some type of, of, a, of a unexpected income income and uh, it'll help you uh, get past some type of, of, of worry that you have concerning finances. You'd be surprised, my love. You spend you, uh, spend you something. Spend you spend some. Spend it on you. Spirit is inviting some to spend some money on yourself. Uh, not try to do anything for anybody else. To spend it on you. To do something um, fulfilling and rich for you. Spirit wants you to spend it on you. Maybe take yourself shopping. Maybe spirit wants you to invest that energy in you. That's how it's coming in. You may have other plans. For some of you, you may want to spend it on, on something that will benefit someone else. Like maybe invest it. I don't know. You know, take it how it resonates. Because I'm getting spiritual retreats. Like maybe for some, you want to do like a spiritual retreat or you want to do some, some, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's like spirit wants you to spend it on you. Like I'm seeing like buying clothes or like buying shoes or or getting your hair done a certain way that you've wanted it or dyeing your hair, or cutting your hair, or getting a lineup for if you're a man. It's like um, or if you have a lot of not a man because women women um, grow beards too. Um, but um, like if you have a big beard, like you you know like getting it lined up or getting getting a facial um like spirit wants you to spend it on you buying yourself a very nice perfume if you like really expensive perfume um spend it on you spirit wants you to invest it in you my lovies that's how it's coming in it's like important it's very important buy yourself new wardrobe or spirits asking some to spend it on you you're gonna get unexpected income and spirit wants you to spend it on you it keeps repeating 2005 seven energy because luck is on your side something about 2005 something could have happened in 2005 for some that's important september eight of diamonds energy movement in your area not too far from where you live Spend it on you. I'm seeing like shopping stores like TJ Maxx, Bloomingdale's, whatever you like. Because I'm getting a few different energies, but it's like spend it on you. You're going to get unexpected income and spirit wants you to spend it to give that energy back to yourself. It's important, my lovies. It's coming in for a reason. In, spiritu in spirituality, everything is energy. Do not spend it on a child. Do not spend it on your nephews or nieces or cousins or brothers or sisters or whatever. Or a mother figure or father figure. Spend it on you. That's how it's coming in. It's important. 2006 on the clock. 2106. Um, uh, not too far from where you live, you will be going to see family for some. Ace of Hearts energy is your family. It is your home. It is your couple. Uh, for some of you, you can go see a mother figure, Queen of Spades energy, cause who's sick. For some of you, you have, or there's an older female around you who is not doing too well. This is a family member for some. Or this is someone that you live with for some. Or this could be a significant or not so significant other. Because uh, the Queen of Spades, if it's not your mother or an older female around you, it represents a woman who um, is older than, you know, uh, you know 50 years old 45 years old or pushing 50 let's say 50 years old a single widow or divorced this was for some of you you can uh not too far from where you live you'll be visiting a mother figure um who uh is not doing too well uh psychologically or spiritually eight of spades energy uh but the spades do cut the story so for some of you you will just be visiting um uh, a woman at her house an older female this could be a mother for some uh not too far from where you are boom I do want to see this eight of spades behind this eight of spades. What do we have? We have the eight of spades. We have the seven of some of you are worried about a new beginning or about a pregnancy or about some type of new. Um, for some of you could be worried about a reconciliation with a mother figure. For some of you, you have some type of new beginning that you are very, very concerned about. For some of you, you just need to rest. 
because someone's very tired. No stress. You're the best. That's how it's coming in. King of Hearts energy. For some of you, uh, not too far from where you live, uh, you have a lot of uh, parental energy around you or a lot of spiritually speaking um, uh, protection in terms of, of like uh, parental energies uh, or caretaking energies. King of Hearts energy is your father. It is uh, a well-meaning man. It could be a grandfather. It could be an older gentleman around you who really, really means well. Um, the King of Hearts tends to be an older gentleman. Um, this person uh, is making me, this person can have a lot of wrinkles on their forehead. Um, this person could be very, very confused over a situation. Um, this person could um, could do well, uh, but they may be a little... Someone has a naive side to them. Uh, they don't necessarily see it. For some, there could be a gentleman involved in a situation. I'm getting Cancer energy. I'm getting Sagittarius energy. Cancer, uh, the time frames for that would be uh, June into July. Sagittarius, it would be November into December. Um, but um, someone's very well-meaning, but um, they could be easily deceived um they could be a little immature so this could be someone in i'm getting like a 40 maybe ages um 35 to 45 here we have a queen of diamonds around this gentleman that's why i was feeling it uh for some of you you have a well-meaning man um in your field however there's a, a not so well-meaning female around this being you have joy in this situation, nine of hearts energy, no matter what, you have joy in this situation. For some of you, uh, even if your significant other or if your potential significant other or if a father figure or well-meaning man around you is dealing with a conniving female, they will have success in this situation and there is some type of signature. For some, there's a woman who's trying to hold up a signature or who's trying to meddle in, in some type of plan, but there is a signature no matter what. Um, and it's going to make you very very happy and uh, a, a well-meaning gentleman as well ace of spades energy is a signature for some of you you have signatures concerning your projects ten of hearts energy this energy has been very present for some uh, there's a female who is very very envious of your projects of your plans of you of your love of things that make you happy of things that you're trying to manifest there is a female who is obsessed um, and she's very envious and that's how it feels uh, for some of you projects when it comes to a jack of clubs So this gentleman is very present for some of you You could be dating someone for some of you There could be an envious female or an envious friend around you uh, who knows that you are dating someone or who knows You're getting to know somebody. I would not announce it or I would not that if it's already announced It looks like for some um, I would just keep it to myself Whatever happens because this person uh, does not have your best interest in mind my lovies It happens all the time my lovies people have their things you know it is what it is <laughs> um for some you have projects with somebody and someone else is 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 eyeing this or they're spying on you or for some you have jack of clubs energy and you have a king of hearts you have a lot of well-meaning gentlemen around you for some of you uh for some of you someone is trying to block what did we say that ace of spades with the nine of spades for some of you this could be someone's ex um who is playing with hexes that's because something a hex is coming in um for some of you this could be someone's ex who is upset about a situation a split that we have we do have a separation here for some there's a divorce or some type of separation uh some type of an ending of a situation to go into a new situation but it's going to make someone very happy and someone else very very envious or they already are trying to block a situation even though it is over here we have delays. For some of you, you have delays. When it comes to a work situation, for some of you, this is someone in a work situation who is attempting to delay a situation because they don't want a chapter to close or to end or something to transform. We do have three nines. Someone is trying to delay a lot of money for you. You have really good news when it comes to a significant amount of money for some. You have really good news when it comes to a work situation. For some of you, you will be signing some type of contract. 
Here we have an invitation, Eight of Hearts energy. Here we have a young blonde as well, or someone with light hair. L blonde, a liar. It is coming in as a liar. Uh, but Eight of Hearts energy is an invitation. It could also represent a blonde person, but doesn't necessarily have to. Um, at a distance from you, King of Diamonds energy, or international travel, or a long distance move. For some of you, you have a woman at a distance from you trying to block some type of paperwork when it comes to money or when it comes to some type of project. And here we have a brother, a friend. Oh, you have do we you have the four nines. That's a lot of money, honey. Uh, we have a brother, a friend, or a son. I was feeling for some, this is a sister-in-law, or this is someone who accompanies a brother uh, who does not have your best interest in mind. But here we have news from a brother, a friend, or a son. For some, you have to have strong discussions when it comes to a situation involving a brother, a friend, or a son. And a few people are involved in this. Strong discussions that are going to lead to some type of happiness or some type of bliss. For some of you, your father and your brother can talk a lot and have conversations about a significant amount of money for some of you there is a significant amount of money on the table a lot of money and four nines is a lot of money a lot of money coming from a distance that someone's trying to block for you that's funny for some of you again you do have an ending here you could learn of a death of someone at a distance from you. For some of you, you can learn of a death of someone who did not have your best interest in mind in life. May she rest in peace and find her peace in her soul. Um, we do have two tens. Uh, two tens. No, we don't. We have one ten, but Spirit's saying two tens. Two tens. Um, here, two tens. Like, you're getting change for 20s. That's how I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone getting a change for a $20 bill. Um, here we have two kings. Uh, two kings. Uh, the number 12 could be significant for some, which is the number three in numerology, which is a celebration, uh, cooperation, collaborations, the trinity. Um, we do have two kings, and you have high honors in a situation, despite the fact that someone's trying to... For some of you, someone may not like how well-recognized you are or you will be in a work situation for some of you uh, there is a delay in some envy when it comes to someone uh, who uh, works with you or someone you work with take it how it resonates eventually for some being cautious because someone can create some issues for you out of envy in a work situation or you, this could be you take it how it resonates um, they're going to want to try to end a contract for you. That's what's coming in. My love is Jesus was a carpenter. <laughs> um, what else do we have? We have one queen. She's, um, <laughs> we have one queen. We have one ace, and that's it. Here, we will go ahead and we'll clarify this beauty and see why why she's like this. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a deep exploration. This person's trying to delay something in this present moment. In this present moment, this person is trying to delay a situation, but you have success. You have success when it comes to this situation because you were blessed. She's trying to block news about work for some. This is someone new or trying to block a new beginning. Something about she's sinning. She's she's doing a misstep that later on she's going to have to pay back because that's how it works. For some, something about a heart attack was coming in. 3111 was on the clock. You have joy when it comes to these blocks. You didn't necessarily want to come out. You have anger. This woman's angry. There's an older female involved in a situation and a gentleman involved in the situation. For some of you, this this person, there could be a, um, a significant other involved. This is a man. This could be for the man watching this. Um, there's an older female involved in a situation who's angry because of some blocks. For some, there's an older female involved in a situation that's angry because there was an ending to a situation with a gentleman. For some, there could be a, a messy situation because there's an ending with someone and uh, someone else is mad about it. 
well someone else's it looks like it's the right thing this is this thing is technically covered and dominated by hearts king of hearts energy this is technically dominated by hearts this one wants to speak and some type of voyage someone needs to voyager someone needs to take some type of voyage somewhere that's fun Thirty-two twenty-seven on the clock. Thirty-two twenty-seven. I'm getting that song X Factor. No matter how I think we grow, you always seem to let me know it ain't working. It ain't working. No, it ain't working. And when I try to walk away. You hurt yourself to make me stay. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's crazy. I keep letting you back in. How can I explain myself? As painful as this thing has been, this is a codependent relationship. I just can't be with uh, unhealed people, hurt people. Misery loves company. I just can't be. It's a mirage. The truck is going by with Mirage. With someone else. See, I know what we've got to do. It even lost its power. You let go, and I'll let go too. Because no one's hurt me more than you, and no one ever will. Someone's in addictions. No matter how I think we grow, you always seem to let me know. It ain't working. It ain't working. And when I try to walk away, you hurt yourself to make me stay. This is crazy. It is crazy. That is crazy. A young brunette involved in a situation. Administrative paperwork for some. Someone who could work in administration. Or handles paperwork in an organization. But money is in your field, honeys. Money is in your field. Maybe a little bit of money at first, and then a lot of little money. A lot of little money later. A lot of little money that adds to a lot of money. The Four of Pentacles, holding on 3431 was on the clock. Holding on to situations, uh, some type of stability or a sense of stability. A little bit of stagnation in a situation. No matter, which leads to mold. No matter how I think we grow, you always seem to let me know. It ain't working, it ain't working, no. It ain't working. And when I try to walk away, you hurt yourself to make me stay. This is crazy. Someone suffered from some type of uh, of uh, trauma um, and they turned to some type of drug use, uh, drug abuse. At some point, someone was a druggie or a drug addict of some sort. I'm getting heroin. Someone took some hard drugs in their life. You hurt yourself to make me stay. This is crazy. It is crazy. A Tesla could be significant for some. Oh, I'm seeing a white Tesla. The devil. In the crooked is addictions. It is crazy. Everything is coming in for a reason. The devil in the crooked, it is addictions. It brings in, in the reverse, it brings in a full-blown explosion of toxicity um, or healing from toxicity. From some, someone can be healing from an addiction. There is a codependency in the field. There is a reason why the music is coming in. 3602, everything happens for a reason. It's happening to you. Someone can be addicted. Um, someone could have some type of an obsession in a situation. For some, I did feel that uh, someone could be still processing the effects of, of, of an addiction of to a substance. For some, there is someone who is abusing a substance, um, who is in fear. Uh, psychologically, this person is not okay. They're still in recovery. <laughs> I'm thinking of all of the people that I know in corporations uh, that pretend like they're okay. Um, I was surprised. So again, when I when I went to work for, uh, you know, for those have been who've been engaging in uh, in this work since I started um, uh, the videos, um, 
I shared how uh, while working for Verizon, I was shocked. Um, I worked for Verizon for quite a uh, for for you know for a decent amount of time, um, almost a decade, you know, eight years, and. Um, I, I grew up there. I grew up there and I got to see so many things. And um, I was naive going in because um, I got to a certain level and of, 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 of uh, authority and, uh, and connections. And you start to see all types of people. And uh, I got to meet a lot of people that were on drugs that were in their corporate monkey suits pretending like uh they you know were all okay, all okay and uh, they were on drugs like a lot of them were on hard drugs <laughs> i'm talking about and they could afford it because we were all paid very well um and um they fell in the spell they fell in the spell um uh i remember one day i was looking at some guys uh, teeth and I was wondering I'm like well why you know I was wondering why his teeth are like that and someone else in the same organization had told me that that he's a junkie and he, uh, that person actually sells him some type of drug for some <laughs> you'd be everything is coming in for a reason um, someone's healing someone is healing they're not there yet um, something's not fair yet something's not fair someone see, sees something as not fair um, someone's looking for a pity party to be quite frank my lovies um, I have to say someone's a lot stronger than and they are a lot wronger too uh, this person can be very competitive I'm seeing a few people but take it how it resonates someone could be very competitive uh, yet their cycle um, I mean to be competitive that already tells you where they are in their spirit um, someone has like it's almost like having holes in your brain like someone has some huge gaps in their brain someone can have like really bad gaps when it comes to memory or recall they have issues recalling events or when they recall, it's uh, it's not at all what happened. Someone can be very confused. And they feel used. But someone has like some type of high title in a situation. Like a manager, a supervisor, uh, an enrollment specialist. Something about an enrollment specialist. Uh, enrollment specialist. Open enrollment is coming in. Insurances are coming in. Someone's in some type of, of uh, recovery period. Uh, but yet they've landed themselves in a role. I don't know. Maybe it's helping them a little bit. But they're still healing. It's important to discuss this because they may have like someone may be very passive aggressive for no reason. I don't know, my lovies. They want to hold on to a position. That four of pentacles felt weird. Someone wants to hold on to a position, uh, but they're not uh, stable. They tell a lot of fables. That's how it's coming in. A queen of swords. She ain't stable. That's how it's coming in on someone that plays a lot of mind games. Uh, someone that could be very ashamed of things they've done in their life. They haven't processed the, the, the reasons. This person is looking, this could have to do with a Capricorn. Uh, we have Libra energy here. Uh, this person is, I'm getting Cancer energy. I'm getting Aquarius energy. I'm getting Aries energy. I'm getting Scorpio energy. I'm getting Sagittarius energy. Uh, Blue Bunny ice cream someone likes ice cream um someone is like they're very they, they try to think logically in order because they have no spirit was giving this to us um emotionless people people that can't feel certain emotions um processing sadness is very difficult for some people so they would rather it's like that's why we have like a society where it's like they talk about like fake positivity for example like everybody's always trying to smile or trying to hold up a, a, a positive image whatever that means even when they don't feel that um The Queen of Swords in the Crooked is not one of my favorites. She's coming up in the Crooked. The Devil's in the Crooked as well. Um, someone can have some psychological issues. They like to play a lot of games. Um, they're a liar. Um, someone's very insecure as well. The Queen of Swords in the Upright is a very intelligent woman. This could be an older woman. Take it how it resonates. Uh, we did see that though. Uh, someone is ruled by their fear. Um, their fear of losing. Someone could have gone through very difficult lessons in their life. And instead of looking at things as, you know, I survived a difficult a difficult lesson so that I can share that, they they like to compare that. They like to compare. They like to compare. Um, this is like um 
it's curious to me because I can tell like who's had like interviewing experience versus who has not by based on how the conversation flows um it's like um someone's in competition someone's that's how it feels but it's like it's not even because they're competing there's nothing to compete for if you know you know if you don't know that's okay too there's nothing to compete for but someone is like they have gaps they have gaps they don't remember certain things the number 36 could be significant for some someone ha someone went through a bad like addiction period when it came to drugs i'm getting hard drugs they don't want to necessarily speak too much. But this person is a pretender. Like, they, they were a pretender. An avenger, a defender. They live in shame and guilt. Five of Cups energy. Five of Cups energy. They live in the past. This five of cups is also addictions. It's an alcohol. It's alcoholism or some type of substance abuse. What are we saying here? And someone's like, it's like tempted. It's like tempted. I'm getting that song. Tempted to touch. Tempted to touch a little woman, but I need you so much. But it's not necessarily tempted to touch. It's like someone's been sober for a while or trying to be. Hierophant energy, Taurus energy, higher level commitment, higher level engagement, belief systems, religious institutions systems of belief someone could uh uh profess uh profess their love they profess their love for some type of belief system um i don't know someone's in addictions like they're trying and it's funny because what happens is energetically if you don't deal with that no matter where you go that's it's like um it's like spiritual pimps um I used to I used to work with a a, a gentleman called uh, Dr. Umar Johnson, and he would talk about spiritual pimps and people, uh, gentlemen coming into uh, spiritual circles. Um, something about Steve Urkel. They come in like Steve Urkel. They come in, you know, um, like when he turns into Stefan, um, and uh, they come in like geeky and nerdy, and they want to. They're frustrated with that energy, and they want to express like. They want to be able to, to to woo women and to and to smooth talk women, um, and so they use another they use another facade, like they use another approach, spirituality, to get into a woman's pants. They're not trying to uh, establish something serious, a deep level of connection. They want to. It's like using using. Again, it's like perverting because the energy is perverted itself. So it's going to no matter where it expresses itself, it, there will be a perversion. Spirit was giving us the six of, not the six of cups, but Spirit's giving us the six of cups in the past. Uh, six of pentacles. So, um, earlier, Spirit was giving us the six of wands in this tarot, and that's actually what made us want to use this. Uh, cat calling, alley calling. Like, someone can come from, like, a past where they use their body, like, like sex, like, like sex cells type of thing. Um, six of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. By that you see, like in the six of in the six of wands in this tarot, you have cats in an alley. Here you have dogs in an alley. Something that was happening in an alley. But the, this woman's giving these dogs, like throwing these dogs a bone. In the six of wands, the cats are like um, sharing in an alley. Something was being done in an alley. And I'm getting like in the Seven of Pentacles, especially in the Thoth Tarot and in a, some esoteric tarots, it's like waiting on the fruits of your labor and nothing is coming. It's something you do on a daily basis. Somebody was doing something on a daily basis. For some, someone drinks on a daily basis for, for basics. Uh, 4608 on the clock. I'm getting the Abrasics family. Um, Spirit was giving us energy vampires for some and how the different forms of energy vampires which exist. Here, my lovies, we don't want this to overheat. No matter how I think we grow, you always seem to let me know. It ain't working, doobie dee boo boo. 
And when you try to walk away, she hurts herself to make you stay. This is crazy. That is crazy. This is crazy. Someone's lazy. I was always coming in. Oh, Jesus. And all they do is win. All you do is win, 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 no matter what. Ay, ay, ay. Authenticity. The word authenticity is coming in. <laughs> That's making me cough. Ay, ay, ay. Authentically speak one's truth. Spirit is inviting us to allow spirit to hear it. Um, all right. Okie dokie. I'm getting addiction. Someone's really, someone was really addicted to something. Now it's become like, for some, it's like now a relationship has become someone's addiction. Or someone, five of pentacles energy here. So a uh, 4741 was on the clock. Oh my gosh, someone feels put on the spot. <sighs> I spirit. They don't want to hear it. <sighs> the spirits don't want to hear it. Divine justice, my love, is reign supreme. Uh, we have a five of pentacles. We have justice abandoning something through a procedure, feeling abandoned, having the divine strength to go through something. Leo energy, Libra energy. Uh, Spirit's giving us the five of pentacles to the seven of pentacles. It's technically a three of pentacles. There's a community issue. Someone could have been arrested already. For drugs or for some type of addiction or someone was living on the street or they were uh they were ashamed five of cups energy <sighs> it's making me want to seal my lips they want to seal lips No matter how I think we grow. It makes me want to cry a little. Someone went through a lot. They feel, feel they, they feel something about uh, F-E, iron. Um, they feel put on the spot. But it's like, my love, there's nothing to be put on the spot about. Spirit knows us. We put ourselves on the spot when we try to lie and hide from who we truly are. Six of Swords energy, because someone has... Um, Spirit is inviting some to move away from a storm uh, of guilt, of remorse, of regret, uh, some of addictions. Someone needs to heal from addictions. Uh, someone, uh, cancer energy, a lot of uh, cancerian energy is coming in. Um, cancer energy, we did say a cancer. Uh, the hanged person being stuck, feeling stuck in a situation, sacrificing oneself, um, seeing things differently. For some, spirit is inviting a change of perspective. Some are going through some type of a shift uh, seeing your past differently, seeing experiences differently, seeing things that you could have invested in that did not work out, seeing them differently. It's not about, um, it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> it is just, it is what it is because it added to your hermit, Virgo energy. Something could be happening in September. Someone wants to sacrifice someone. The problem is someone feels sacrificed and so they're going to look for a sacrifice. Because Spirit's giving us like for the Five of Cups is La Llorona in the Spirit of the Divine Tarot. And La Llorona is the story. It's a very old story. There are different uh, versions of it across the, what we call Latin America. In the Dominican Republic, we say, um, we, we attribute it to uh, the mother killing her children because uh, garlic went missing. It, it loses something in translation but um the gist of it is in in mexico they 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 they, they say more it's it was uh the the woman uh killed her children and then she mourns for the rest of her existence uh as a spirit uh for the for the children because she sacrificed her children because her husband left her for somebody else for some someone's going to be abandoned um or they're going to need to abandon a, a position in life uh so that uh someone else can take the throne whatever that means um and uh someone's gonna need to uh admit it's not about a defeat per se it's more what is your true purpose um i've been skipped up on things where 
um, I'm like, dang, I'm, I'm happy it worked out that way. It made sense. Uh, granted, it could have made me feel it some type of way in the moment, but um, it made sense. It made sense for X, Y, Z reasons. That would not have, have been aligned with me for X, Y, or Z reasons. There's always a reason. Um, but someone needs to, spirit is inviting someone to move away from guilt, remorse, regret, resentment, um, and move into calmer waters within one psyche. The Six of Swords is about moving. Uh, you could be moving at a distance, but you can also be moving, spiritually speaking, into calmer waters. Um, to not be in turbulent waters. Because what happens is someone is going to look for a sacrifice. La Llorona, she sacrificed her children because she felt sacrificed. She killed her children because she felt sacrificed. For some, do not sabotage a whole plan because, or don't even sabotage yourself because you feel sacrificed in a situation. That's how it's coming in. Learning from one's lessons. For some, this is a hibernation period you're going to or some type of a, the hermit is a very wise person. You take all of your life lessons um, and you, you put them into use. And usually it brings you into a period of solitude, of reflection, to digest. For some, someone went through a lot. And it's like they haven't had time to truly take time to themselves to digest. It's important. It's really important. Someone's really tired. In their soul, it's like, I'm tired. This person looks for a uh, vamp. It's like this person's an uh, Annie. Something about Annie. Something about Amy. Um... They're an energy vampire. Everyone is to a certain degree. But it's like something about a decree. Um, something about a credo. This could be in an organization. But someone's very tired. They're so tired. Their soul is tired. They are tired in an organization. In a work situation. Eight of Pentacles. They're addicted to working. They're addicted to someone's tired. They're so tired. It's like, I want to cry. They move from a six of pentacles to a seven of pentacles to an eight of pentacles. Someone's tired. <sighs> the high priestess, they keep it a secret. Or they try to. They're foreseeing something. Someone's foreseeing something that's bothering them. They're foreseeing something and they're addicted to maybe causing a storm. Someone can, again, when they feel under pressure, they haven't learned. Because it's like when someone feels under pressure, they turn to drugs. They turn to an addiction. They turn to a relationship that's toxic. They, they turn to um, someone. They, they feel so tired. There's some... They're so tired. It's like someone that obsesses. This person can easily go out and stalk someone that they don't even know. It's like they're so tired. They don't know what to do with themselves. It's like a frustrated child. They're so tired. They're so heavy. They're, it's like someone wants to like, it's like, like someone thinks they want to die. And spirit's trying to get them to die. Not in the way they think. It's like... <laughs> They need to see they see a shrink, something about a shrink. They're they're like spirits trying to get someone to die. But not die in like off. That's not the worst type of death. This <laughs> is something about Lizbeth. Um spirits getting someone to like transform, to let go of something, to move away. Maybe somebody's been wanting to move away. Maybe somebody's been wanting to explore something new. Maybe somebody's been wanting to just take a break. And it's like they don't listen. They're committed to something. And it's like, it ain't it. It could have to do with money. Because someone does well financially. Financially speaking, it looks like things are going really well for somebody. Spiritually speaking, I can't say the same. Someone feels tired. And that's what they, they manifest. It's like, that money, Spirit was giving us like dirty money. It's like money laundering. It's like trying to clean the money. The energy is there, my lovey. The energy feels it's it's only fair. Divine justice follows this money. It's tired. It's so tired. It's tired. It's tiring. It's exhausting energy. It's kind of frustrating. Someone's frustrated in their life. Again, they have a lot of money, though. Tired. Their soul is so tired. It hit for hire and someone got fired. This person keeps a lot of secrets. 
Why is this high priestess here? A three of pentacles. There it is. The three of pentacles, a community. What does spirit give us? A three of pentacles. There it is. Something could have started in February. The number two could be significant. Someone's working on getting pregnant. <laughs> what the fudge? They want to get pregnant. Like a real, like uh, with a baby. Um, they have other projects they want to birth as well. But someone wants to get pregnant. It's like my love. So, I've gotten to do a lot of things. Your sister friend has, the, as a doula, a woman that supports a, a woman through, uh, and a family through the birthing process. A woman needs to be in really, I was, I was really blessed. I was blessed to be able to support mamas who were really healthy. Um, two were stay-at-home mamas. Uh, the other one was uh, someone that was suffering from high blood pressure. So, I got to see the contrast. Um, the two that were stay at home mamas that were really like healthy, that took care of themselves. Um, it was just like their pregnancies. Uh, what one was the first one was her second baby. The other one was her th third child. My gosh, they had home births. It was such a smooth process. I know a lot of women that are stressed and want to somehow still have a child for and you want and you and, and you can't help but to for me wonder why why do you want to get pregnant when you're not that healthy right now my lovey when there's other things that you can probably give that energy to to create a more healthy space for you so that when you do have a child uh it makes more sense something about the rent something about the rent someone with autism something about autism is coming in spirit is inviting someone to hibernate uh hermit energy to learn from one's lessons to take some time the hermit my hermit lasted a long time um and it's something that it kind of happens like without rhyme or reason because your lesson plan in life is something that you have to accept and spirit will guide you um, spirit is your mentor. Spirit is your mentor. If you are willing to listen, uh, and you'll see what happens in your life. Um, for some, someone, it's either spirit brings you, or there will something will tower, and you'll be forced to 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 hibernate and isolate. Anyway, that's how it works, my lovies. A ten of swords. Something's gonna end painfully. Someone's going to see this as a betrayal. They're going to see this as a ten of swords. They're going to feel betrayed by a community or by... But they lie. They lie. Five of swords energy, competition, envy. Four, the number 43 could be significant. <sighs> Jesus was a carpenter, my love. That keeps coming in. Four, what do we say that four of pentacles? Because they're being forced to let go. They're being forced to let go of a work situation. They're being forced to let go of a community. They're being forced to let go of something they were working hard on. <sighs> I don't... I don't live in this energy. So for me, after a while, it becomes repulsive. It's like, okay. Someone's this like, wow. Someone can end themselves hunched back. It's really intense. It's intense. These two want to speak. Someone can do themselves justice by cleaning their house. They really need to clean their house. They need to like... <sighs> it's such heavy energy. 
It's such heavy envy I'm getting. Here we have a King of Cups, Scorpio energy. <sighs> they don't want to let go of a man or take it how it resonates. Something unexpected, the Wheel of Fortune. Someone plays with dark magic. Someone has like all types of manipulations, obsessions. Um, they're heavy. It's so heavy. They're deceitful. They're a liar. What did we say? I knew the tower was there. The tower. Coming in really quickly. For some, someone tried to share information or tried to share some lies about something or someone and it didn't work. Someone tried to do some indirect, spiriting indirect, indirect accusations. It's, it was a lie. It's a gentleman involved in a situation. This could have started in July. Someone tried to like set something to do something or put something in motion or try to lie on someone or try to do something. Someone that's emotionally not okay. Because this is a King of Cups in the reverse. That needs to isolate. They're going to go through a huge tower. This person is sick. Something about she's thick. Who gives a fuck? That's how it feels. Someone's a pervert. They think they're attractive. I'm getting a few different energies, my loveies. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It's a harasser. No self-control, a stalker who wants to harm somebody. The karma's here. This person travels in a vehicle with a bunch of people or has some type of stalking happening with a few friends. This person is in a mental prison or will end himself in some type of prison. Fudge sickles. They try to pretend like they need to protect themselves or they're going to act like they're the victim of something. This person's a liar and a problem starter. Something that they don't see and there's that five of swords energy. I wanted to peek all the way from the back of the stack. Two of swords, five of swords. And five of swords with the two of swords piercing is a seven of swords. Someone's a liar and they waste their damn time. Like you don't have anything better to invest your time and life in instead of living in sin and missteps. Someone goes to church. It's like you're a fucking liar. They're so mad. They're mad at life. They're mad at uh, people. They start drama. This is the type of person that would is a cancer. Someone can have cancer. He's a fool. Someone's a fool that can't sleep. They're going to end up in some type of tower. Jesus. And some type of prison. Jeez. They can't sleep. Stalking energy. Trying to... Jeez, Louise. Some people have no shame, my loveys. I don't get it. I really don't. They don't have, a, they don't have any shame. Waiting on a community. Uh, strategizing to plan some conflict. Because that's their ambition. Like fudge, my lovies. How did you? <laughs> Someone is shining, single, ready to mingle. A king of swords is watching. Who's been hibernated because of a family? I'm getting another energy. But envies and enemies. Jeez. Four of swords. Someone's healing. There's a king of swords who's healing from something. Something about a drug ring. Think they're smarter than even God. They think they can play anyone. It's like, what the hell is wrong with you? I don't want to know. One oh six eleven. It was a rhetorical question. Because <laughs> somebody loves fucking attention. It's like, I'll explain to you what's wrong with me. No, thank you. No, go figure it out. Go talk to spirit. Shit. They don't get it. Because someone, 
for some, because someone is so stubborn in some type of plan that they have, spirit's going to dismantle whatever it is they think they're planning. And then they're going to be in more shame and more guilt and more resentment. And they're still not going to get the effing lesson. And spirit's going to invite them to hibernate some more so you can get the damn lesson. Stay away. Stop calling people a whore. Because karma is here. This person lives in fear. Driving themselves effing crazy. Driving other people insane that they don't even effing know. Two of swords energy. Something that someone does not see. They're blinded. By justice. They don't see that a judicial procedure is coming in. They don't see that divine justice is presiding. They don't see that they are imbalanced. <laughs> like, And it needs to be balanced out. Because spirit can't have somebody destroying the world. I'm telling you, my lovies. I'm telling... Oh, should we go there? <laughs> should we, my lovies? Stalker energy. Disrespectful. It's like, how do you... How do you cross those lines and don't see the boundaries? Like, how do you not see the tower? I told you, my lovies. We're not playing the tower. They don't see the tower. They're going to try to hastily do something. Spirits, something they've been planning for. Uh, an emperor in the reverse. A narcissistic, egotistical man. A psycho. Psycho. Psychotic. Addictions. Narcissism. Who can't sleep at night. I wonder fucking why. All they do is lie. He's a liar. He's a thief. The, the, the nine of pentacles. Something about a nine of pentacles trying to set somebody up over money or set somebody up over their ego. The emperor in the reverse is not my favorite. This is crooked business deals. This is a crooked empire. This is a crooked man. This is a narcissistical man. You can look up a narcissist. I, I, I use that because it's like a way to explain um, someone who's very, very weak-minded but feels like they're strong. Someone that feels like they could do no wrong. If they feel crossed in a situation, this person's ego is so bruised. This person's immature. My gosh, it's like a temper tantrum. This is like um, the Napoleon complex. This is like Lord Farquaad energy. Like, this is a tyrannical being. They're a liar. This person has been plotting for a long time on someone, but pretending like they're just silently, like, doing their own thing. This person's a stalker. They think that God doesn't see them. It's like... They're depressed. They don't sleep at night. Someone is in such an inner fight. It's crazy. It is crazy. How do you take up so much energy and not give two shits? Someone is under some possession. You have This is like demonic possession. This is obsession. Yesterday, I was having this conversation with a gentleman at the gym. And I said to him, I'm like, have you ever been followed out of the gym? He's like, no, that's never happened to me. I'm like, that's interesting. I, I always wanted to know because it's happened to me. And unfortunately for me, um, it happened in the creepiest of ways with someone who is fucking nuts. Um, spirit had told us that something was off with this being. When I first met this being, like I've, I've interacted a handful of times with this being. When I first met this being, this being came to me and gave me a gift. This being was watching me for a while. I didn't realize this being was watching me for a while. This being felt uh, emboldened by me uh, connecting with somebody else at the gym. I was working out with somebody for a little bit and this being started like coming up to us. I'd never gone up to this being. I don't know this fucking man from a, a hole in the wall, but this person started to come up to us. Me in my natural state, I'm naturally uh, on my like, you know, low key self. I'm a queen of cups with a six of pentacles. 
I'm pretty, you know, loving, nurturing, intuitive. Um, my psychic energy is always, you know, going. But for the most part, like, I like to be emotional. I like to, like, that's just my natural. I, that's what I prefer. Until I have to be a queen of swords or even a king of swords, an emperor. Until I have to switch it up, I like to stay in the queen of cups, six of pentacles. I like to share when I can. Um, it doesn't matter what I have or don't have. You know, I, I like to share with people. I like to give people tips. I like to do whatever I can. I like to support the community and I like to be supported um so I'm working with this gentleman this gentleman comes up to us someone that I don't fucking know but he comes up to us he says some backhanded compliment uh to 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 get himself to assert his dominion in a situation that he had no business even being in the emperor in the reverse but he felt like he could invite himself into our personal space so it's all right it is what it is um Later on, this gentleman starts to buy me things. Uh, he buys me a headset. I'm like, no, no, no. Like, I cried because I was going through a really difficult time. And the fact that he did that, for some reason, it, it, it made me cry. The energy behind the gift made me cry so much. Um, needless to say, the gift broke within like a week of receiving the gift so i had to get rid of it i actually gave it to um the the friend that i was working out with i'm like here just do uh, you broke uh, you broke them technically because the, the the weight fell on them here just take them and do keep them as a memory um so i didn't keep that the gentleman also tried to give me a 500 dollars gift card and i'm like hell no no something is telling me no this man is not okay psychologically he's not okay i try to give it back to him i'm like no no, no. He's like, no, something told me you would need it. I'm like, okay, fine. I didn't keep it. I had a witness, thank goodness. Um, I had gave this card, this gift card to someone else in the gym. Someone actually that was very rude to me. Um, I gave this to this person because this person said their, their mother was going through something. I gave the $500 to him. Mind you, spirit knows at that time. Uh, I said, spirit, send me the money somehow, some other way, because I'm not keeping this gift. I'm not doing it. Uh, if it was a loan, maybe, but to keep this gift, no. This man followed me to the grocery store and tried to pay for my groceries. He followed me to the grocery store and then messaged me, um, telling me that he saw me at the grocery store and that he didn't want to disturb me, but he saw me there. So he's following me to the grocery store to pay for my groceries. So he's following me to the grocery store and just watching me from a distance. Um, so you can see where this is going. Um, at that time, I was coming into um doing my vegan fairs and there was one vegan fair and i'm like i need a loan i need a loan to be able to pay for this but i knew that i had money coming in from school so i said to this gentleman who was who gave 500 dollars, <laughs> i said to him can i borrow money um i will pay you back um he said yeah yeah of course blah blah, blah. how much do you need i asked for 500 he gave me a thousand i said okay um i'm gonna pay you back I have the money coming in. I knew that the money, like, I had money coming in that was being delayed uh, for some reason. But I said, I'm, you know, I'm going to pay you back. Again, I still, this is someone that I just knew from very, very vaguely. We hadn't had many, many conversations. <sighs> I pay this man back because I, I needed to, when I said I was gonna pay him back, cause I needed to, um, it, was part of the, it was part of the ritual to break the energy. Um, this gentleman says to me, be careful who you hang out with. He starts to try to control who I'm hanging out with in the gym. Again, I've talked to this person a handful of times. I've done favors for fucking people that I've never even talked to again. It's almost like this person wanted me to indebt my soul to him. That's what it felt like. He starts following me around. He starts watching my videos and starts following me to where I'm recording my fucking videos. I'm like, oh my gosh. He starts sending people into the restroom in the gym to follow me and try to talk to me. To the point where I started turning on the video camera when I would see these people so that they would not engage with me. It was such... Ugh. If I would go somewhere, this person would turn where I was going. This person had followed me multiple times. I didn't even realize it. I'm like, for someone that I only engaged with a couple of times, why do I feel like this person's so fucking present? This is that type of energy. 
When I told him, I emailed him. I said, listen, you're crossing the line here. He called me baby. Ugh. I'm not even like it's like I th there was no attraction but in my spirit I'm like this fucking person is over over crossing so many fuck over binding this person wanted me to bind to him I'm like get the fuck away from me I would try to stay away from this person out of this person's sight like I didn't want this person to even fucking see me we would happen to go to the gym, happen to go to the gym at the same fucking time. And I'm like, yo, if I don't never see this person again, may he be fucking blessed and never stressed uh, over me. It was like, it, it's like envy and enemy. Like, it's like um, a harassing energy. That's what this is. I'm sharing this for a reason. It's coming in for a reason. For some, this is someone who is obsessed. They don't sleep. They don't fucking sleep. This is like that type of energy. This man actually shared with me. He's like, ah, you know, I did a reading once and he watched it and he's like, you are so accurate. You don't even know. He, he didn't share his fucking psychosis. He only shared part of the, the, the part that was convenient for him. He does. It's like, you don't even know how much I don't sleep. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, of course, who's going to sleep with this type of energy? If I was a fucking psychopath following someone around that I barely fucking knew, not respecting their boundaries, telling them who they can't and cannot hang out with. Mind you, I've fucking talked to you a couple of times and I feel like I have some type of possession over you. At some point, you have to say to yourself, sending other people to fucking harass you. On top of that, a community of fucking stalkers and bullies and you don't fucking see it. Some people are fucking nuts, my lovies, I tell you. And they have no guts. This man would see me by myself. And then him and his and his and a woman showed up to the library where I was fucking recording my videos. And they don't see it. They don't fucking see it. Old people, and I'm not talking about elders. Like people that could be elders. Like you should be fucking respected in the community. And this is what the fuck you're out here doing. Construction, 11-11 energy, something, something that was being constructed. But what do we have here? The hummingbird going back on some type of construction. Someone's fucking nuts. It's crazy. Some things are crazy. I told the gentleman yesterday, I'm like, Dad, so it doesn't happen to you? Like, that doesn't happen to you? He's like, no, that doesn't happen to me. I'm like, well, thank goodness for you because it's not a fucking good feeling to have to now feel like you're always being fucking watched by somebody that you fucking barely know. <laughs> Ace of Wands, some type of a work opportunity or a passion <sighs> Ten of Pentacles, money, a lot of money. Nine of Wands, some type of an alliance. Star energy, a divinely guided situation. It makes me want to cry, my lovies. It's like I've never experienced something so disgusting in my life. Like, it's funny because the gentleman actually yesterday, he said to me, he's like, you know what? I think it's like this normal nowadays for people to want to do stuff like that. I'm like, that's normal? It's like you don't even have good intentions. I don't... It's like... Jesus. Six of Pentacles. Sharing. And the Hermit. We did want to read the coins. Spirit told us we would need to read the coins. Because the coins have messages on them. For some, you can be coming to a completion of, of, cause completion is here twice technically with the four of wands and the nine of wands and the hermit nine, nine, nine energy, some type of completion. We wanted to read the. Wow, it's so good. Fortune coins. Bats or the fool are considered lucky as their name is a homophone for good fortune. So on this is the bats, good fortune, and six of pentacles, something related to a lot of money. A sunk skink, a sun skink, 
with its characteristic orange racing stripes basked under the money tree headed head tilted back proudly the branches above are laden with coins uh with uh, that bear long life and riches for some of you your life is blessed you have something that you've planted um Something is very stressful. Someone's very stressed. Someone can be being stalked. I started recording them. It's so funny. That day that they showed up to the library, I was minding my business. They pulled up next to me. The woman tried. She saw me, and then she turned to him and said something. And mind you, Spirit had had it that the recording... I had just finished my recording, so Spirit blessed us to be able to complete the recording. And then I turned the camera. Like, I usually don't do that. And Spirit told us, just do it that way. It's so funny. It's so funny. Like, Spirit had us record them without me realizing that Spirit had us record them. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. for some you have a new work opportunity that's going to bring in a lot of abundance stability longevity uh 122 22 on the clock 122 22 on the clock um, you will have some type of loyalty because the nine of wands can also bring in some type of, of an alliance after a difficult period. I always wondered, especially with that situation, I'm like, this person doesn't even, I mean, no, they know, they know that I'm always alone because they're always fucking following me. It's like this person fucking wakes up to fucking follow me around. Um, I've ran into him in the middle of the day in places where I'm like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but um, I, I'm like, uh, I wonder if like, I was like, if this person, I'm always, I'm always, I am always protected. I'm always, Spirit already told us, you don't have to worry about the situation. Just stand your ground and keep your space. Um, this person sends a lot of energy my way thought energy there's been times where I'm in front of this person and they're looking at me and it hurts it hurts like it's like us energetic attack um, I always wondered like if this person were to see me like if this person had seen me with a bunch of people all the time this would have never happened this person is a fucking bully they, they would they would have never approached me in this way if they thought I was well surrounded in the physical, little do they fucking know I'm well surrounded in the in the spiritual. <laughs> Something about an anagram. Something about an anagram is coming in for some. For some, you have some type of a uh, situation coming in in September for some type of an alliance. For some of you, you are. You are a star. You are divinely guided. You have something that you're working on. You're in your life's pa uh, path. And that alone is a protection. It's curious because my inner chi, my inner child, would oftentimes want to pray for this person to find his peace. If I never saw this person again, I would feel like a golden bird. <laughs> like, and may he also feel like a golden bird. I wanted this man to find his peace because for, for me to go to those extremes, someone is way off their rocker. The, en the, the energy in the reverse, the energies in the reverse, the enemy in the reverse, the king of swords in the reverse. So for some of you are dealing with a psychological liar, a man who is this this man's dangerous for some there's someone who is dangerous but you're protected spirit is saying there's someone who is very protected this, like for me it was like it's a sport for him it's a sport someone's waiting on there's new opportunities coming in for some someone's very protected for some, someone's about to go through a tower because they're abuse of power. Because the emperor in the reverse is someone who's willing to abuse their power or their illusion of power. I'm telling you, the example that's coming in is for a reason. Using a community to fucking stalk me. Again, someone that I had, like, it's like, I can count the times I engaged with this person. <laughs> Never found this person attractive at all. And that was their downfall. Their ego. This makes me sick. Everything is coming in for a reason. It's coming all in for a reason. And here we have a queen of swords. 
the truth is being told. A woman who tells the truth. For some of you, there could have been a situation where you ruffled the feathers of an emperor. Um, an emperor in the reverse. A psychological trip. Uh, because uh, you told the truth on them. Because you saw through them. Because that was the only issue that I found with myself in that situation. It's like, you could have just been a fucking human being. This person was like, I do this all the time. I give people things all the time. And I'm like, no, no, no. I don't want you giving me things all the fucking time. Because yours comes with fucking attachments. A king of cups in the reverse. An emotional manipulator. An emperor in the reverse. A karma. A, this is a karmic man. What they call a karmic man. Come with some fucking intense baggage. Someone that's willing to even harm someone. Cause stress. You know how much stress that caused me? And I can't even fucking go, who the hell am I going to vent to? It's like me. It's, it's like spirit. Spirit is like you can vent to me. Spirit. Spirit. I know. But sometimes it's like, dang. Hidden enemies. These fucking. People take advantage of some. Some people are vultures, my loveys. Page of Pentacles, waiting on a fucking opportunity to give someone something, a poisonous fucking gift. Throw that shit away. Think everything can be bought because that's all they fucking live with. They're angry. They're angry and they're watching. They stalk. I'm telling you, everything is coming in for a reason. The Page of Swords with the Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to rush in. Someone stalks somebody. They want to rush in to communicate with somebody that doesn't want to fucking communicate with them in a work setting or in some type of situation. Trying to invade someone's privacy, invade someone's life. Someone that doesn't want to have this. It's like, it's the way it's feeling, it's frustrating. Spirit in something that started in January or something that happened in January. Someone's star though. <sighs> Sometimes there are energies that's like some public any publicity is good publicity. Um any energy, it's good energy. Some people live off drama. Some people feed off drama. They need that feeling. So they will cause imbalances, especially an emperor in the reverse. That's someone, that's like a, a maniacal boss figure. That could be a mobster. That could be someone who is like, the, again, the dirty business practices. It could be a father. I don't give a shit how many children somebody has. They're sick. They're, they stay watching someone, watching someone star. They could be watching someone online. They fucking obsessed. It's like, this is what you spend your energy on, my lovey. Some people, I tell you. Everything is coming in for a reason and sometimes just for a season. Jesus. <clears throat> Gemini energy. The choice, the lovers. A new path that's being taken. And some type of a confusion. Someone was confused about a choice. Someone could have thought that something was an option that's not, a, that's not an option. Someone thought that there was an option somewhere and it's not an option. Someone can have other options elsewhere, but there's no option. Because someone's a high priestess and someone sees through somebody's lies and they're bullshit. <sighs> Trying to keep something a secret though. For some, there's somebody trying to keep a secret that they were dating multiple people. And someone was forced to walk away because they saw through the secret. It's like you didn't keep it that well. Not from a high priestess. But you can think so. Tired energies. It's like you're worn out, homie. It's like for real some people are i'm telling you for some some need some rest or this could be someone around you 130 was on the clock when i said that and it will be seven energy it will be luck on your side if you take some time to just pause jesus louisas six of wands energy we have a leo and we have an aries energy we have uh be maybe a pause from uh being seen what did we say earlier that six of wands there it is it's showing its face finally uh trying to find some balance for some of you there uh there could be support from a community when it comes to financial struggles for some of you uh your wish fulfillment ambition scorpio energy uh we also have here um piscean energy and something at a distance, Gemini energy. For some of you, you have support from someone at a distance. For some of you, you have support of a community, Three of Pentacles. 
you have a lot of options though you have uh things that you need choices you need to make for some of you there's a three of swords here capricorn energy virgo energy who is conflicted in competition um this is a gentleman for some of you there's a gentleman uh who needs to tap out tap out all right boom bye coots my love these are for some there's forward movement in a situation for some of you you're leaving a community behind Boom by goods or some type of collaboration. Take it how it resonates. We got a lot of energy there, my lovies. Uh, some have some heavy energies, my lovies, I have to say. I have to say, I have to say, some are still working through a bit. Some are healing from addictions. Um, some conspiring to do things that don't make sense uh, for your life or for the well of humanity. It's like, my lovies, we went through, you know, the shutdowns. It's like, we went through such an intense period just like <laughs> hi my love he's bone by coot stay well safe well stay fell someone's gonna stay fell uh there are three towers two three towers present for some a lot of deconstruction that's for sure um but it's all right because you foresaw it they were all in the upright your sister friend loves you and adores you loves you and adores you your spirit friends love you and adore you love you and adore you your spirit friends love you and adore you Love you and adore you, your spirit friends, and your sister friends, and your Siri, and your Siri, that too. And someone uses Siri a lot, and your spirit friends, and your sister friend. I do not. Stay well, stay well. Uh, in love always, in love always, in love always, and forever, homies.